Okay, to start off, we will drag in a video file, and it loads it up and aligns it and warps it to uh, all align. And again, here we have two uh, timelines. There's the input timeline and the cliplet timeline. And I'll begin with the input timeline to choose a still, which I think is kind of fun. You can see my daughter uh, jumping there, and let's see if we can find a kind of fun frame. Uh, how about that one? So it's a nice uh, still shot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add a layer here and add a layer. And as we saw before, there's different kinds of layers. We could add another still or a loop or a mirror or a play. We'll come to that in a bit. But for now, I'm going to start with the default one, which is a loop. And what I'm going to try to do is we're going to try to get this Pinocchio character over here, which I will try to carefully draw around to make sure we get him. And now we're going to find some piece of the input uh, that will loop nicely. And we can do that by going like this. And here's a point where his, we'll see, maybe I'll pick where his feet are kind of out front. And come back and have him go all the way around again. And right about there, his feet are out front again. So this should create a nice loop, hopefully. And now in our output timeline, we can see that will just start at the beginning and loop continuously. And we can try that. Let's try rendering it. Okay, it worked pretty well. So we've got uh, uh, Pinocchio uh, doing his thing, and we've got my daughter suspended in the air, and we've created a cliplet. Um, this might be a good time to save the project um, because I'm going to continue on, and hopefully it'll still work. Uh, or we could just export it and call this done and be finished with it. But uh, this time, let's try adding another uh, another layer on top. So I'm going to click Add a Layer again. And in this case, I'm going to pick a Play Layer. The idea is that I want to uh, catch a little bit more of the action. And in particular, uh, I think it would be fun to have my daughter sort of leave being suspended in the air and bring her back to Earth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a Play piece that lines up pretty nicely with that uh, little blue dot there um, because that was our still, remember? And then I'm going to pick the end, try to find someplace nice and you know, see if I can get a good smile on her face somewhere. Oh, let's say... Ah, that's a nice frame. We'll pick that one. So now I'm going to need to create a mask for that. And I don't remember exactly where she was, but if we go out here we should be able to create a mask that covers uh, that entire piece of action. And the other thing you'll see down here now in the cliplet timeline is where do I want that to occur? And I think what we'll do is we'll put it about here, which means that it's going to hold still, and then it's going to play, and then it's going to hold still again. So these little bars you see here are actually where it's going to be held. And I'm going to have it held right from the start. And then after she lands, I'll have that held all the way until the end of the cliplet. Um, and then I can also adjust how long uh, that's, that uh, piece is going to last. And you notice there's a little detent kind of clicks to give me real time, which is what I'm going to set it to. Uh, so let's try rendering that. Okay, so what should we end up with? Again, down here you see our three layers. We've got the blue still layer. Uh, on top of that is going to be the orange loop, that's the Pinocchio, and then this little play. Um, let's let that run through. So here's our cliplet. This is the end of the cliplet where she's down. Here's the beginning. She's suspended in air. She comes down and lands and holds, and all along uh, we've got Pinocchio uh, pedaling his bicycle over here. And so I'll pause that, and again, uh, good time to save the project. You can read it back in later if you want to continue on it uh, or hit the uh, export cliplet and it'll ask you where to save uh, the final result. Okay, that's that one.